Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, or otherwise known as EIGRP. Um, this is our first EIGRP lab that we'll be doing here, and what I'm going to be showing you here is the EIGRP basics, how to set it up, um, you know, uh, how to use the EIGRP metrics, the K values, um, how to uh, do unequal cost load balancing, and we might also at the end do some uh, EIGRP authentication if we have time. So what I've done already is I went in and I have here configured uh, all of our routers. Uh, I just have to go through now and just do the, uh, the IP addressing scheme. Uh, as you can see here, router one, we have two loopbacks, both of them on the 172.16 uh, network. Then we also have on router four, two loopbacks uh, both on the 10 network so everything in between our you know router to router connections are going to be all in the 192 168 and as you can see from router 1 to 2 it's in the 12 network uh, 2 to 4 is in the 24 network 3 to 4 is in the 34 network and 1 to 3 is in the 13 so just give me one second here I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of the uh, configuring of all the links and then I'll uh, go ahead and start we'll start configuring some EIGRP Okay, I got all the IP addressing done in between the routers. Now what I'm going to do, last thing here, is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do the uh, interface, the loopback interfaces on router 1 and router 4. So interface loopback 0 on router 1 is going to be 172.16.1.1. And then interface loopback 1, his IP address is going to be 172.16.11.1. I think that's what it was. Let me just verify that. Uh, we'll just go ahead and put that in the 11.1 uh, .1. and then we'll go to router 4. Router 4 is going to have two loopbacks as well and they're in the 10.44 and the 10.44.44. So we'll go to router 4 here and we'll do config T interface loopback 0. IP address is going to be 10.4.4.4 and we'll give that in the uh, that, uh, slash 24. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead here and do loopback 1. It's going to be IP address 10.44.44. We'll do 4. Put that in the uh, slash 24. Now if I go to the... Okay, so what I do here is so if I do a show, show IP interface brief, Go ahead and try to ping out now. 192.168.24. Uh, Fastening at 00, which is to router 2, so 24.2. I go ahead there and I have connectivity there, so I'll go ahead and do a ping now to my other link, which is 34.3, which is router 3, and I have uh, uh, I have a link there. So I'm going to go to router 1 now and just do a show IP interface brief here. Just connecting, or uh, verifying my connectivity to my interfaces here to the other routers. Uh, 112.2 would be router 2's IP connected to router 1 and then ping 192.168.13.3 which would be router 3's connection to router 1. Okay, so now we have full connectivity throughout our network. We can go ahead and start configuring uh, EIGRP. Okay, now what I'm going to go ahead and do here on router 1 is I'm going to go ahead and set up EIGRP. Um, I'm what I'm going to do first is just get into router configuration mode or for EIGRP. And you do that just like any other routing protocols, just router, then EIGRP. Then here you got to specify, you know, your autonomous system number. So we're going to be, we're going to make the AS number the same across the board for all the routers. Um, we're going to be in AS number one. And then now under here, if I do a question mark, you can see I have a whole bunch of things I can do here in with EIGRP. Um, what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to um, advertise some of my uh, connected networks on my router into EIGRP. And the way I do that is with the network command, just like uh, OSPF, but um, it's a little different. What I'll go ahead here and do is uh, show you a couple different ways you can use the network command. Um, with EIGRP. The first way, uh, 
the simplest way, I guess, is what I'll show you first. Um, say you get, you know, uh, a question on a, on a, an exam or something, and, and they want you to configure all of your directly connected interfaces on your on your router uh, into the EIGRP, uh, you know, area. I'm sorry, not area, but you know, your autonomous system. Uh, the easiest way to do that is just with the network 0.0.0.0 command. You just hit enter there, then just hit end, and that'll do it. So if you go and do a show IP protocols, you can look and see your EIGRP uh, information. Um, what you can see here is that you have, right off the bat, what I forgot to do is I forgot to turn off auto summarization. So as you can see here, it's summarizing this, uh, you know, this the slash 24 that I put on the 172 networks that's summarizing that into a whole slash